If slow control decks have been giving you problems in Hearthstone, it's time for you to unleash the power of the Moonbeam. The most powerful thing that you can do in any card game is to completely confuse your opponent as soon as you guys start playing the game. So go ahead and like this video and subscribe to the YouTube channel in order to let me know that you have no idea what is going on here when your druid opponent ends up playing a Cobalt Geomancer. What year even is this? I thought this was 2023, but we're back in 2014 when this card saw legitimate play because spell damage was, well, first of all, not as readily available, but was also massively powerful to depending on what archetype you're trying to fit it into. Case in point, Swipe with spell damage was like a legitimate board clear, and that is part of the reason why Swipe hasn't been available for Druid for so long, because it's just been so good in an auto-include. But just look at how messy this deck actually looks. This is a top 100 uh, list that I have for you guys right here, from someone that is trying to make Moonbeam Druid into a legitimate archetype. And this came out a couple of days ago, and since then, it's kind of like... It's kind of inspired people, myself included, to try and make their own list, because there are some things about this deck that it can do super like consistently and has some really powerful turns and then there's the flip side where it may be good against control but the aggro matchups are almost completely unwinnable like i don't even want to show you the stats about how this deck does against aggro because number one i don't have the stats number two it this is a deck that is just supposed to be a classic combo deck that is good against control decks and even though some of you may be thinking how do we deal with warrior armor gain well this is the reason why unending swarm is in the deck because the whole point of this deck is to play your spell damage cards your geomancers your rainbow glow scales as well as your blood mace thalnoses you bring them back during a combo turn so that way you can play solar eclipses into moonbeams for ridiculously uh, like for insane amounts of damage these things can deal 16 a pop uh, and if you double that that's 32 a pop so you could potentially deal uh 64 damage with this combo if you bring back an entire board of uh, of the spell damage minions now that being said it's a way easier said than done in some instances because you have to keep in mind that this is an all-in combo deck you can already see that there's not a lot of ways of being able to remove board outside of like the rake and the living roots. There's embrace nature that works really well with life binders gift, but in all honesty, the life binders gift is mostly in here just to reduce the cost of your spells. So that way you can do a gigantic combo with like a five mana unending swarm, zero mana moonbeam, and one mana solar eclipse. Now there's a lot of different decks that have been floating around. And in the clips coming up ahead, this is going to be the deck that I'm going to be playing because I was told that Gadgetson was absolutely the nuts by my chat. But if you want my honest opinion, I think that this is probably even more unfavored going into the aggro archetypes and more favored going into the control archetypes because you get to consistently draw your deck uh, by turn 6, turn 7. So that way you can maybe kill your opponent by turn 8, turn 9 at the very latest. And control decks don't like it when you kill them before turn 10 unless they've killed you before turn 10. But we're not here to talk about, you know, whether or not this deck is uninteractive or whatever. This deck is just really fun and it's hilarious to see how your opponents react when you play a Cobalt Geomancer against them. However, there's one more deck that I want to look at because I haven't played this yet, but it kind of, you know, shows us a, a new way of being able to play the deck. There's kind of this toss up between do we play due process or not? And if you want my honest opinion, I feel like due process is probably one of the most important cards in the deck because you just really need to draw out your cards consistently. And as cool as Gadgetson is as a card, he's one of my favorite cards of all time in Hearthstone. Due process essentially just gives you what you want versus having to wait, 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 finally pop off the combo. You're probably dying going into the next turn, and because you didn't draw anything that was really useful at removing the board, you were just focusing on drawing your deck, you end up dying. So I like this idea of being able to essentially just throw out your cards because you need to throw out the spell damage minions at some point. You can't just, you know, not keep them because you need something on the board. You have to be able to throw out these cards at the right time. And something else I like about this deck is the spread the word in combination with harmonic moods, so that way there are more ways of dealing damage, more ways of being able to trade, as well as, you know, more ways of actually gaining life and sustaining ourselves, so this makes a lot of sense in my opinion. I still think that Embrace of Nature should be a two of, but this deck is not anywhere close to being optimized whatsoever, but somebody was able to reach one, uh, top 100 with this archetype, and I think it was just because everyone and their mother was playing Warrior that day or something like that, but there's a lot of 
hilarious things that this deck can do, and it's just a matter of being able to find the perfect 40, uh, or I'm sorry, the perfect 30, but one card that I definitely think that does deserve a spot here is the Frost Lotus Seedling, because being able to hold on to this card so that way it draws 2 and gains 10 is actually pretty massive, because now you have more consistent ways of drawing cards, you have more ways of being able to sustain yourself, and there are some instances to where like this card just becomes stuck in your hand, but even though this card is stuck in your hand, it's not like you just want to jam this for a draw 1, gain 5, you have plenty of other things that you can do and if you discount it to two mana with lightbinder's gift and this is just an extremely better arcane intellect but I think I've talked enough about the deck because there's really only so many ways this deck can go. The big thing is whether or not you run due process or not, and I think due process is 100% core in this kind of deck. But it's just really funny to me that Moonbeam OTKs are now a real thing in Druid, and if this deck were to become popular, this would be the OTK deck that I feel like a lot of people would have issues with, but I like OTKs, and you know what, I'm just going to keep playing these kind of decks because I love combos, God damn it. And don't forget, if you do enjoy this kind of content, feel free to like this video and subscribe to the YouTube channel to be notified about any of our future updates. Thank you so much for making it to the end of this deck intro, and we'll see you for the next video. The dog distracted me. <laughs> the dog distracted me. Wait, always keep the unending swarm? That can't be correct. That cannot be correct. I don't see how that's correct. All right, well, I guess I just gotta go for gadget. I'm really, I'm really like confused why there isn't any ramp in this deck. Like, why isn't there a Widow Bloom Seedsman in this deck at least? This deck terms Warlock, uh, unless they get. Oh, we we actually beat Warlock, is what you're saying? It farms Warlock. Maybe that's why this deck is emerging because it beats like the Odin and like the. Beats the Odin Warriors and the Curse Warlocks. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. What's going on? You're losing your grip. Why are you losing your grip, dog? Uh, well, that's massive. Thank you. Dude, I, I know, right? Like, people are gonna look at this deck being like, what is going on as soon as the Geomancer comes down? Because no one's gonna think about Moonbeam combos. They're just not. What if I actually make it a top 1,000 with this deck? Finley? You know, the other thing that's really strong about this deck is that no one's running Stomper anymore. They don't got their low fan. I'm gonna save this at six mana to see if I can't find um gadget. You will not come close. Okay, this is yeah, he's doing literally nothing. Beauty is more than scale deep. Another one? I got ramp, that's actually really massive. This is so weird. I have no idea if I'm even playing this correctly right now, but if you want to talk about another Solitaire deck, then here we go. Oh my god, there's Gadget. Yeah, we definitely go for this. We have plenty of time. I might have to aquatic form first, though. I can't play these for minions. I have to use this for removal. I can also squeeze in the rainbow glow scale. And now these cost four. So it's like I could bring back an entire board of spell damage. Oh, shit. Oh, please have, please have mercy. Nothing fucking massive. All right, I have to set up the OTK. I got the best deals anywhere.
How many minions have died? Time waits for no one. One Geomancer. I don't know this is enough. But it's like this Solar Eclipse Moonbeam, Solar Eclipse Moonbeam into Living Roots. Is that just lethal? With plus three spell damage? Is this enough? I'm starting to wonder if I should have saved the Innervate. I think this is lethal. Oh my god, another funnel cake? Doesn't that just automatically win it? Four spell damage, so this becomes eight. It's not enough to win yet. Oh no! Oh no! Oh no! <laughs> this deck is actually the nuts! Oh my god! We're never playing Embrace here. Yeah, the, the, apparently there's a pizza guy here. I, I had no idea we were having pizza. <laughs> okay, looks like he's playing the deck. So it actually might be better for me just to go ahead and just start jamming the minions here. So I have Blood Mage. I have to... Can, I don't, maybe it was just better to play the Rainbow Glow Scale in that case, because then they would have traded away. Is more than scale okay. deep. Good music should be loud. What are we listening to? Oh, I know why. It's because my Spotify volume is a little bit up. Yeah, I turned it down a bit. That should help. Although I do find it I do find it curious that you're asking why YYZ, one of the best songs, if not the best rush song, is too loud. Bro, I I would blast this song all the time. <laughs> Ooh. Oh my god, lightning reflexes? Oh! Dude, that's massive! Got this to protect myself a little bit. Oh my lord. Am I going to out OTK the OTK deck? It's nice to see someone else trying this archetype and actually having success with it, though. There's the gadget. I'm actually wondering... What? Because I can't do this. And now I have four minions in the death pool. Reduce it first? Nah, nah, dude. We draw a bunch of cards and then we reduce once we get our mana back. These are two drops, right? So I actually can't play Feral Spirit. Well, I guess I can. What if he leaves the minions alive? Can you imagine? Oh, you bastard. I didn't think about Primordial Wave. I mean, that, oh, dude, that, that's actually kind of important. I got the best deals Oh, no one. Beauty is more than scale deep. For the wild. Need me to my work. 
Do I have this next turn? Maybe I shouldn't have played the 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 the, the wolves. Now I die. How? It's how. <laughs> how am I dead? Oh, you're joking? I couldn't tell that was a joke. <laughs> oh my god, and I still have the gadget online, dude. <laughs> Time to pay. I'm almost out of cards. I'm out of cards. Yo, what just happened here, guy? Yo, Ali coming in with the perfectly timed raid. I think we just found a meta breaker. Guys, I think we just found a meta breaker. Can I interest you in OTK Moonbeam Druid? I am going full moon right now. I am mooning every single one of my opponents. So this stream may not be uh, may not be appropriate for children under the age of uh, 13. Because you don't want your kids to be full mooning you after watching Clark Hale scream, and I apologize for that. Inspector Gadget Full Moon Druid. <laughs> goofy stuff, let's go. We only got the goofiest stuff here, guys. Only the goofiest stuff. I think I damn near want to keep the gadget in the, in the druid mirror. At the same time, though, this is a drum druid, so it's like I would need a way to, like, kind of counteract here. Alright, so here's the, here's the game plan for all the new people who are joining us right now. So, the goal is to confuse the opponent as much as humanly possible by playing Rainbow Glow Scale and playing the Spell Damage Minion so they think that you're a bot because they have no idea what to expect when they see a, a, Rainbow, uh, a Rainbow Glow Scale as a Druid. Because they're, they're going to think that this is, uh, you know, Drum Druid, right? Wrong. You could not be any more wrong. Alright, so we're gonna make it seem like uh we don't know what we're doing. And then suddenly we go we just go hard. One more inspector gadget, please. How about I can I put on the power glove version? Can I cause that's the, that's a metal version of that song of the Inspector Gadget. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna put it up anyway. <laughs> I might have to use this to try and find a uh Okay, that's not what I wanted, but I guess I'll take a Blood Mage. Trade here. Keep this alive. Somebody can anybody find me? Put on what you want. All right, we'll do. Uh, is Silver Moon good? No. The reason why you don't want to play Silver Moon is because it doesn't get resurrected from the end-ending swarm. Oh yeah, I didn't even explain that part. So the reason why we're running these spell damage cards is because unending swarm only brings back cards that are two or less, right? So, that wouldn't work with Silver Moon. Because if you play Silver Moon, first of all, it's three. Second of all, its ability doesn't let you target the enemy hero. So, you can't even do the Moonbeam combo with it anyway. Have I heard through the fire and flames? Uh, are you asking me if I play Guitar Hero, uh, Guitar Hero 3 Legends of Rock? Bro, I am in Legend. You think I don't know the Legends of Rock? Insulting. How dare you. <laughs> uh, top tier game plan? Dude, it really is. It's AFK Druid because everyone's going to think that you're just playing some kind of quest deck. <laughs> Where it's like, oh yeah, he's trying to like play spell damage minions for achievement points? I don't know. <laughs> I have no idea. Oh man, but can I can I outpace the, the, the drum druid though? Oh my god, wait a minute. I actually, mm, hold on. I can't go for the gadget yet. I think I have to wait one more turn. I could just remove board. Alright, that's two spell damage minions gone now. This guy doesn't gain too much armor. Have I heard it's a mashup with fireflies? Through the fire and flames with fireflies? Are you talking about the, uh, the Owl City song? Because if so, then no, I have never heard that, but... Okay, yeah, I've never heard that mashup. I can kinda hear it in my head. <laughs> I can kinda hear it. Okay, there's the moonbeam. I 
have to go with the Lifebinder's Gift. This is hurting my head. If I... Oh, dude. Um... The Solar Eclipse do this, bring back... Essentially, four spell damage. For no one. Bring back four spell damage. One unending sounds horrible. Yeah, I don't think we can cut unending. Because we need it for consistency, right? Oh, this is hurting my head, dude. This, this is a really cool deck, though. Like, my god, this is a really cool deck. Okay. I can link it if you want to put it in the Discord. Oh, uh, you can put it in the Discord. Yeah, that's fine. Definitely put in the Discord, man. I'll, I'll take a look at it later, and I'll add it to the playlist if I like it. Okay, so... I need a bit more mana. At the same time, I could do Solar Eclipse into this. But then I can't play Funnel Cake. So I think we just throw away the Geomancer. I just... I don't... I can't survive against a Drum Circle, though. Play Trades? Biggest issue here is, uh, am I just gonna die? Cultivation just kills me, doesn't it? Uh, yeah, we have to hope, dude. Uh, am I getting wrecked by a fellow Druid Enjoyer? Do my eyes deceive me? I mean, hey man, at least they're beating me with my own deck, right? They're beating me with my own deck and I can, I can live with this. But he's already got 24. Cultivation puts it to, uh... Oh, god, wait, no. It's, um... No, he's got 20. Cultivation puts it to 30. I'm at 35, so he needs double cultivation. But it's like, I also don't have enough to win with just the Moonbeam, right? But I do have Solar Eclipse Unending. Which will hopefully bring up an entire board of spell damage cards. I think I've actually got this. Wait a minute. Does he not have Cultivation? Dude, what? No. No way. Is this lethal? Time waits for no one. Top deck a moonbeam and it is definitely lethal. Top deck moonbeam. Ah! Ah! would have been good here Time waits for no one oh no a natural mistake like control warrior games end in less than 20 minutes and uh, honestly the control warrior games get longer depending on whatever your opponent's playing like if he's playing this like if I'm going up against this then yeah I can understand the sentiment blood DK control warrior are my gem I hope you get more decks like that it's just not safe for the meta. I disagree, man. Like, you know what You know what happens? Every single time there's a tier 1 deck, someone's like, oh man, this deck isn't good for the meta. Like, it happens literally every single time. The 40 card control warrior? I would argue it's not even, like, that good right now. Maybe I should still do a video on it, but... There's a reason why, like, I skipped my video on, on 40 card control warrior right now. Because 30 card Odin looks like the nuts. But there's nothing wrong with, like, you know, a grinder, uh, control deck. Like, you kind of need some of these greedy decks in order to keep some of the other decks in check. They overbuffed it? I disagree. 
Or at least as of right now, I disagree. Maybe as the meta progresses, maybe it becomes the case. But as of right now, like, Warrior was doing really bad. And now it finally is good, and now that it's good, you're automatically being like, oh, it's too powerful. It's fine. It's just, it's the flavor of the week right now. We'll see if the meta stabilizes and supports, like, something else. Do you have this in a bigger size? Although, if this OTK deck can't deal with the warrior, we might have a problem. Alright, now this is massive, by the way. This is a massive next turn. My left headphone stopped working. Is your uh, your cord all the way plugged in? Because my headphones kind of do that too. I literally thought my headphones were broken for a minute because of that. Oh shit, I, didn't, I forgot I was at two mana. I guess I have to mill the funnel cake because I can't mill any of these other cards. Is too full. Time waits for no one. The biggest issue with the deck is not overdrawing yourself, and it's actually so easy to overdraw. I'm saving Funnel Cake, so that way I have enough mana. But I need to kill off these, um, these spell damage cards. I know for a fact that the next card is not going to be the cards I care about, but the Geomancer and the Solar Eclipse I absolutely need. Okay, I don't care about not getting a Colossal. All my shit is breaking and I'm too broke to do anything about it. Bro, I, I, I feel that. If my PC goes out, I am fucked. <laughs> I, I, I feel, man. <laughs> my hand is too full. Sunwell? What the hell can I even get off of that? Do I even want that much off of this? I really don't. Pelowing flames myself. I got a Pyroblast, in case I don't have enough damage. <laughs> we have Pyro, we've already won. Just buy a house. Oh man, I wish I could just buy a house. That's a very boomer thing to say. <laughs> Lamau, just, just get a loan, dude. You have the credit for it, right? No, no I do not, mom. You know? I think we've actually got this. How much armor can he gain? And can I still surpass that anyway? I think I I'm absolutely fine, dude. Right? Alright, I don't know how much damage this is, but I'm pretty sure this is lethal. What's good? What's good? What's good, dude? What's up? <laughs> Are we sure this is a control warrior meta? Are we sure this is a control warrior meta? I'm not- I'm not too sure about that, man. Oh, did I finally figure out how to play this deck?